Hello, today we have with us Oren Hershkovitz, CEO of Enlivex Therapeutics, which trades on the NASDAQ under the ticker ENLV. Oren, welcome back. Hi, great to be back. Enlivex focuses on macrophage reprogramming. Can you explain in simple terms what macrophage reprogramming is and why it's a game changer in the field of immunotherapy? Okay, so let's start with macrophage. Macrophage is a very, very important immune cell, okay? It has a lot of roles in housekeeping and fighting in the, against pathogens. It triggers the immune system, but it also knows how to shut it back into normal state. Now, in some diseases where macrophage aggravate the inflammation, they continue to induce inflammation instead of bringing it back down to normal state, what we call homeostasis. In those cases, it's very, very important to direct that macrophage to tell them, go back to normal state. And this is what we do in reprogramming. It's taking very inflammatory macrophages into kind of a regulatory calm state. And by that, we address the problem in the disease. Now, what makes Allocetra unique compared to other immunotherapy treatments currently on the market? Well, that, that's a great question. Well, I think uh, there are many good companies doing immunomodulation. I think Enlivex, to the best of my knowledge, is the only company that, that actually target macrophages in a way that it reprogrammed their activity, that it kind of change or rely on. Um, we're actually harnessing a normal biological process and the healing power that normal macrophages have. And we've taken advantage of our technology to induce that you know, healing process. So that makes us very, very unique. And again, I think we are the only immunomodulating company that are doing that, right? Uh, reprogramming macrophages as a novel modality, a novel concept for treating diseases. How big is the market opportunity for Allocetra? Well, Allocetra is being developed, it's a platform, right? So it's being developed for different indications that are all addressing or uh, the common of all of those, what's common to all of those indications, the fact that macrophages are involved and you need to reprogram them, whether it's an acute disease like sepsis or a chronic disease like uh, osteoarthritis. Um, all of those markets are huge markets, billions of dollars of markets, because there's a, a very common diseases with a huge unmet medical need. So we're talking about, for instance, the steroiditis around seven to nine billion dollar market now expected to grow into something like 2030 to be around 15 billion dollar market. So those are huge markets. Oren, you recently announced positive interim data from a phase 1-2 clinical trial in end-stage knee osteoarthritis. Can you share key findings from the data and how do those results inform your future development? This is extremely exciting. I mean, this is the first time we generated data in osteoarthritis patients by direct injection of allocetra into this painful knee. Um, now, these are very advanced patients, okay? Those are patients that are indicated for uh, knee replacement surgery, right? Um, so we're offering allocetra in loop of their surgery. And we gave them a single injection and followed them now for three months. Um, and the data that we just announced suggests that there is a significant pain reduction. The average pain at baseline before treatment was 7.8. So we're talking about a scale of 0 to 10 right? So 7.8 is pretty, pretty painful, right? Um, we gave them a single injection of allocetra and we followed them throughout those three months and we saw a continuous drop in their pain, in their recorded pain, and went down all the way to 2.75. So an average pain relief of about 64%. That's, that's significant. Now it's a small study, uh, nevertheless, it's very, very promising. And we had three patients with an average pain of nine, so almost the most painful experience you can have, dropping down to zero, which is no pain at all. So that's extremely exciting. I think it will, it, it, you know, it's, again, the safety was very good. And that's also important because, again, it's the first time we inject our set right directly into the knee. Um, so all of this is, is very encouraging. Um, and it, we have the large randomized control phase one, two study that we're also running in parallel in moderate patients. 
and I think it it increases our expectations to see very promising safety and efficacy data. Oren, investors are always looking for catalysts. Could you give us some near term and even longer term catalysts for Enlivex? We have several catalysts, right? We just recently, a couple of days ago, last week, we announced the uh, the first patient dose in a new study, which is a steroid of the thumb, the basal thumb. We're talking about this part. So actually, we have now the uh, sepsis study that we're still following the patient, and one year follow up will, will be uh, Q1 next year. We have the end stage study that we in, you know, just announced, talked about the interim data. Uh, we'll have additional data by the end of this year, an additional readout for all patients um, in Q1 next year. We will have uh, data from the phase one, two randomized controlled study in moderate neosteatritis. That's a large study that we're running in Israel and Denmark and other countries. Uh, top line data readout will be Q, end of Q3, 25. And then uh, the six months data at, at end of Q4, 25. And on top of that, we have the basal, basal thumb osteoarthritis and we're expecting data Q, Q1, Q2 next year. So you can see there are various uh, catalyzation points at various uh, timelines, short-term, long-term. And I think it's important to say that we are well-funded to cover all of those activities. So we just announced recently our uh, funding round at, uh, from a, a, a healthcare focused institutional fund. And that will allow us to extend our cash way, a runway all the way to the end of 26. So many cap, you know, inflection point, um, a lot of money to cover all of this. So very promising future, hopefully. Oren, to wrap up, why should investors take an interest in Enlivex right now? So I think we're in a very good position to take an interest in Enlivex. First of all, let's talk about a few, few points. The first of all is the experience management, both from the business perspective and from the development perspective. Uh, you know, chairman of Enlivex and myself collaborated in a previous company, and we took a drug all the way to the end uh, with a very, very, very large uh, deal uh, uh, with Pfizer of the leading asset. So a lot of experience there. Uh, we know how to develop a drug. And uh, the second is, of course, the platform. It's, as, we, as we talked, it's a novel modality. It's a completely new concept. And I think uh, it, it has the potential to revolutionize the treatment of several diseases. We have several different indications, all uh, in large market, billion dollar markets. Uh, all of them are unmet medical conditions. Uh, we have several inflection points throughout the coming year. Well, uh, throughout the coming two and a half years, well funded. Um, so I think uh, it's a very good time to see, you know look at the company and, and get an interest in the company. And we certainly agree, Oren. Thank you for sharing your fascinating story with us today. Thank you very much for having me and a pleasure to be here again.